This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Today is Friday, November 5th, 2010. And today we're going to take a look at Anigenics Inc. This is a NASDAQ global market stock trading our ticker AGEN. Nice double bottom here that it took off and made a nice move from around 73, 75 cents, peaking out over a dollar. Coming back down now, I'm seeing some bullish crosses going on here with the 50 going through the 200-day moving average. Stock price is trying to poke its way back over the 50-day at this point. So we're going to keep an eye on this, see if the indicators are giving us any hints of this making a, a better move. With this recent decline right there, you can see that the MACD, the PPL, everything's kind of tapering off as it's making a little rounded top and coming down. Overall, we're going to look for something along those lines, try and keep an uptrend. We can see that this histogram, this trend line I just put on there, kind of cuts right through it. You can see that it's actually putting a trend up to it, possibly going to see a bullish cross of the signal line. Same way with the PPO at this point, slight uptrend in the histogram. ADX is coming down. The trend has lost its strength. Now it's back down into a trading pattern. Looks like it's starting to try and flatten back out. Not getting too much from the positive and negative DI is really sitting in a middle of the road kind of position. If this is going to make a move, we're going to see this green line, the positive DI, snap up through the negative DI. We're going to want to see it break through the ADX, and the ADX continue to flatten and then roll. There's some pretty good separation going on right there with the 7 and the 14 away from the 21. I reference this a lot of times. I would anticipate these are going to make a move, but break back up this direction and try and get in closer proximity to the 21 here in the near future. ADX relatively flat. Riding right long bottom, we're going to look for that to try and turn. It's going to need to see some buying pressure if it's going to make a move. What we'll be looking for is we're trying to break through this sort of channel right here that it's in. Not really touching the tops of it, but back in here it was flatlined again. If this makes a move, we're going to want to see it break through the top part of this and definitely put together a nice uptrend. Jake and Money Flow kind of trended right there around zero. Must have seen some selling over the last couple of days. See selling pressures overtaking buying pressure. Not much time up in the green above zero, so the selling pressure has been pretty good throughout this whole nine-month period. So we'll have to keep an eye on the shaking money flow. We want to see it continue to make an uptrend, always in the long term. So we want to see this continue to trend up. And in a perfect world, I'd like to see it just get closer to zero in general. When it was trading right around here and selling and buying pressure was about equal, that was an okay look to it. CCI just now breaking back up through negative 100. That's a good sign for a possible reversal. See that strong downtrend that it's been in. We're going to want to see that fall and see this start to make a move trend back up towards zero. Full still coming off the bottom. We always talk about the idea of breaking through 20 is the first sign of any momentum coming into this stock. So that actually has a pretty decent look to it as well. Tricks, of course, we turn slow. We're going to put this as a target sort of point. We're going to want to see this make a valley and roll back the other direction. Right now, we're not getting much from it because this was a point where it made its break and the PPS started sliding back down. So we're going to look for this primarily to try and hold within the close range of zero, flat line, and make a turn. The RSIs are in a very nice position. All together, about ready to break through 50. That has a nice look to it. It's going to be some resistance right through here for it. It's tough right through there. Held a little bit of support. This 95 cents is going to be a little bit tough on it. See that 50-day moving average is at 93. What we want to see is it hold above that 50-day. We want to see it make a move, challenge this middle Bollinger Band, this purple line, 20 DMA, and get back up into this area where it's trading back on the upper side of the Bollinger Bands, and more importantly, holding over that 50-day. It has to catch bottom support from this 200-day at worst, which it did which is something that gives me an indication this might be trying to make a move again since it helped 200 days so well. So we'll keep an eye on that for as a bottom support at 90. See it's closed at 94 cents, 350,000 shares traded. That's about average volume for it. Volume can stay about where it is for it to make a move probably right through here. But if it's indeed going to try and put together a new top up here around $1.10, we'll probably have to see a little bit more of a volume surge for it to try and take that out. But that's what I'd be looking for in the long term. First and foremost, hold the support level, move through this resistance here at 95, start to make a climb and come up into this above dollar range, and in a little bit longer term, try and take out this dollar ten and make a new higher high. These are the sort of things that I'll be keeping an eye out for with the AGEN chart. As always, this is merely my interpretation. This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.